What I'm going to show today is how you can use Heatwave Gen AI to very easily create a vector store from unstructured data and how you can very easily interact with Heatwave and with the unstructured data in natural language. So the setup I have over here is MySQL shell, which has a VS Code plugin, which has been enhanced to integrate with various capabilities of Heatwave, including Heatwave Gen AI. So at the outset, you see that there's a chat prompt, and this is a cue that you can use Heatwave chat to interact with the database uh, with Heatwave in natural language. So let me start with my first question, asking which team won the Formula One championship in 2023? Now this is invoking an LLM, which is running inside Heatwave, LLMs are trained on public content, and we see that the system or the LLM doesn't have the appropriate answer. Well, I have a bunch of documents in a folder in the object store, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to load these documents into the vector store and then ask the question to see whether the system is now able to give me the appropriate like answer. So this is enterprise content I have, which is in the object store. We have built this navigator as an extension to Heatwave Chat to be able to very easily navigate the documents in the object store. We support a variety of file formats. So I'm going to take all the HTML documents in this car racing folder, the Formula One folder, and I'm going to create a vector store. What you're going to see is that with a single click of a button, when I load these documents, it's parsing these documents, it's determining the appropriate embedding model, it's generating the embeddings of the vector, it's inserting these vectors into the vector store, all happening inside the database inside Heatwave without the need for application to use any resources or without the need for any AI expertise. Once this vector store has been created and I ask the same question again, it's going to result in a similarity search on the vector store. The output of the similarity search will then be fed into the LLM, which then gives the response back. Here you go. So now you can see that with the vector store in place, we're able to get the appropriate response or the correct answer. I'm now going to ask another question to see that, OK, was AI or machine learning used to achieve that? And by that, what I'm referencing is the winning of the championship. And the system is able to recognize that and give the right uh, response. So as you can see, you can actually have a conversation or a dialogue with uh, Heatwave. I'd ask another question whether what role did Oracle Cloud have to play? And by this, what I'm referencing is the machine learning capabilities, right? Like what role did Oracle Cloud play? And again, you can see it has that context. The reason uh, we are able to get these responses back is because the server, Heatwave Gen AI, maintains this context or the various questions which were asked. So the system, the LLMs, they have this context, so they're able to give the appropriate answer back. In addition, Heatwave also stores the various vector tables which are being used to access these, uh, uh, to answer these uh, questions. And in addition, the system also maintains the citations or the base documents which were used to answer these questions. And this is something which is very useful for enterprises because it's very often the case that enterprises may want to know like which documents were used to answer a specific question. In addition to this, we uh, also have the capability where you can uh, pick a model of your choice, an LLM of your choice. We have some default like uh, models which we support both running inside Heatwave, as well as the choice to the user to invoke external LLMs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask a question which is not related to uh, uh, the car racing, but related to a specific feature of Heatwave. When I do that, what I find is that the system doesn't have the answer. Well, the reason the system doesn't have this answer is because remember, we've been querying a specific car racing uh, folder. We have in Heatwave Gen AI the capability to ask a question or to um, search within a folder or at the global schema level. So now next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask a question at the global schema level, and hopefully that will give me the right answer. And you can see that when I did the query at the uh, global schema level, I get the appropriate answer back. One of the capabilities LLMs offer, which Heatwave Gen AI also offers, is the ability to interact in different languages. So next, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask a question in German. Note that the base documents are in English. The embeddings have been generated on the English documents. But the question I'm going to ask is in German. When I do this, the question is um, asked of the vector store. A similarity search happens. And when the response is generated, 
the LLM translates the response back in German. And here you go, you can see the response coming back in German. So what you have just seen is how you can use Heatwave Gen AI to very easily create vector store from unstructured documents, how you can use Heatwave Gen AI to very easily interact with the content in Heatwave and Heatwave Lakehouse in natural language. This is just one of the many applications we have built using Heatwave Gen AI. We encourage you to try Heatwave Gen AI and build new applications with Heatwave. Thank you very much.